This is Zeus from Olympus. If you are watching this, keep it to yourself. Greetings, valiant heroes of Dominion. Zeus here, back with another thrilling installment in our series on countering Polaris. In our previous videos, we've delved into how Polaris neutralizes negative effects, from stuns to charms and everything in between. Today, in part 3, we're taking it a step further and exploring how Polaris can effectively counter the skills of enemy heroes. But before we dive into the intricate dance of hero skills, let's first examine Polaris's own formidable ability, Northern Lights. With a flick of her wrist, Polaris unleashes the ethereal glow of the Northern Lights upon her enemies. This mesmerizing display not only extends the duration of control effects inflicted by her allies by a staggering 60%, but it also strategically decreases the activation chance of enemy skills by 10 points. Now, let's embark on our journey through the battlefield, where Polaris stands as a beacon of power and resilience against the onslaught of her adversary's skills. Join me as we unravel the mysteries of Polaris's prowess, and discover the true extent of her overpowered abilities. Polaris expertly counters Jet's skill, Potion of Fatigue, where he hurls a toxic potion flask at nearby enemies, preventing them from regenerating health for a significant 8 seconds. However, Polaris strategically intervenes, lowering the chances of this skill being activated. Consequently, Jet's ability to hinder health regeneration is thwarted, posing a significant setback, especially encountering heroes like Rufus who rely on health regeneration, particularly against magic-based adversaries. With Polaris in play, Jet's effectiveness in neutralizing magic heroes, particularly Rufus, is notably diminished. In our journey through the realms of Hero Wars, we encounter the enigmatic Sebastian and his captivating symphony, Ode to Serenity. This skill, meticulously crafted to cleanse debuffs and erect protective shields, now faces a formidable adversary in the form of Polaris. With a death reduction of Sebastian's debuff application chances by a significant 10 points, Polaris disrupts the harmony of his melody, tilting the scales of battle in her favor. As the soothing notes of Sebastian's composition clash with Polaris's strategic prowess, the battlefield becomes a stage for a symphony of skill and strategy, where each move holds the potential to alter the course of battle. Moving on to Jury's formidable skill, Reflection of Pain, we witness an ancient curse that reflects 100% of physical damage received back at the attacker. However, Polaris's calculated maneuvering strategically diminishes the effectiveness of Jury's curse, particularly against high-level adversaries. With her skill Northern Lights casting its radiant glow upon the battlefield, Polaris effectively nullifies Yuri's ability to reflect damage, turning the tide of battle in her favor. Turning our attention to Celeste and her potent skill, Limbo, we witness Polaris's strategic acumen at work once more. By reducing the chance to block debuffs while her Northern Lights skill is active, Polaris ensures that Celeste's healing blocking abilities are less effective against higher level opponents. This calculated move not only weakens Celeste's defensive capabilities but also highlights Polaris's keen understanding of battlefield dynamics. Against Satori's relentless onslaught with the skill Spirit Purification, Polaris employs a similar tactical approach. By strategically lowering the chance to apply Fox Fire Marks while her Northern Lights skill is in effect, Polaris limits Satori's ability to mark enemies, effectively weakening her offensive capabilities on the battlefield. This calculated maneuver serves as yet another testament to Polaris's strategic brilliance and her ability to adapt to various combat scenarios. Phobos's menacing skill, Trembling Hands, Polaris once again demonstrates her tactical prowess. By strategically decreasing the chance to apply the curse while her northern light still illuminates the battlefield, Polaris diminishes Phobos's effectiveness in reducing enemy physical attack. This calculated maneuver not only gives Polaris the edge in combat but also underscores her ability to outmaneuver even the most formidable opponents with ease. Polaris adeptly counters Amira's desperate fury, a skill designed to boost critical hit chance for enemies with the agility main stat. 
By strategically diminishing the chance for Amira to grant this wish, Polaris ensures that critical hits end up missing their target during the duration of the effect. This tactical maneuver significantly undermines Amira's offensive capabilities, providing a crucial advantage on the battlefield. Moving on, let's examine how Polaris counters Astaroth's devastation. Astaroth's skill involves burning up some of the energy accumulated by the furthest enemy, thereby disrupting their offensive capabilities. However, Polaris strategically diminishes the chance for Astaroth to burn energy, thereby mitigating the impact of this skill and providing her allies with a crucial advantage in battle. Polaris effectively counters Kayla's skill, ruled by fire. This ability allows Kayla to self-ignite and continuously lose health while casting or renewing Phoenix Glyphs, providing her with significant offensive capabilities. However, with Polaris's strategic intervention, the chance for Kayla to cast or renew these glyphs is significantly lowered, especially when her Northern Light skill is active. This disruption in Kayla's ability to utilize Phoenix glyphs weakens her offensive potential and provides Polaris's allies with a crucial advantage in battle. Polaris adeptly counters Judge's skill, Hologram, which grants him invincibility and the ability to convert damage taken into health. With this skill, Judge becomes a formidable opponent on the battlefield, capable of turning enemy attacks into health restoration. However, Polaris strategically intervenes by diminishing the chance for Judge to block an attack, especially when her Northern Light skill is active. By reducing Judge's ability to block attacks, Polaris weakens his defensive capabilities and provides her allies with a crucial advantage in combat. Polaris expertly counters Krista's skill, Chains of Frost, which temporarily reduces enemies' magic defense and applies a mark of water to them. With this skill, Krista poses a significant threat to enemy teams, especially when paired with her twin brother Lars. However, Polaris strategically diminishes the chance for Krista to apply her skill effects, thereby weakening her impact on the battlefield. Additionally, this counter has a substantial impact on the damage output of Krista and Lars, especially when Polaris's Northern Light skill is active. Polaris effectively counters Alvana's skill, Harmony of the Grove, which grants bonus energy to heroes protected by the runic barrier for all damage absorbed. This skill provides Alvana and his allies with a significant energy advantage, allowing them to unleash devastating attacks more frequently. However, Polaris strategically reduces the chance for heroes to gain energy while the Northern Light skill is active, thereby disrupting Alvana's energy generation and weakening his team's offensive capabilities. Polaris adeptly counters Lars's Lord of the Storm ability. With this skill, Lars summons a powerful storm at the enemy's backline, pulling heroes towards its eye and afflicting them with a mark of water. However, Polaris strategically diminishes Lars's ability to drag heroes and apply the Mark of Water, especially against targets with a level exceeding 130. This strategic maneuver disrupts Lars's crowd control and weakens his ability to debilitate enemy teams, particularly when Polaris's Northern Light skill is active. Polaris exhibits masterful counterplay against Dark Star's control ability. With this skill, Dark Star attempts to compel the nearest target to fight alongside their side for a brief duration. However, Polaris strategically diminishes Dark Star's success chance, particularly against targets with a level exceeding 130. This calculated maneuver disrupts Dark Star's crowd control tactics, ensuring that enemies remain firmly on their own side, especially when Polaris's Northern Light skill is active. Similarly, Polaris adeptly counters Mojo's Cursed Bones skill. With this ability, Mojo hurls a charge at the closest enemy, dealing magic damage and stunning them before rebounding to strike a random foe. However, Polaris strategically reduces Mojo's chance to stun targets, particularly those with a level surpassing 130. This tactical adjustment undermines Mojo's crowd control efforts, ensuring that enemy heroes remain unhindered by stuns, especially when Polaris's Northern Light skill is in effect. 
Polaris demonstrates strategic prowess in countering Corvus's royal defense ability. With this skill, Corvus intervenes when an ally's health dwindles below 20%, swiftly relocating them to the center of the team to shield them from harm. However, Polaris strategically diminishes Corvus's chance to execute this maneuver, particularly against targets with a level exceeding 130. By doing so, Polaris disrupts Corvus's protective tactics, ensuring that allies are not relocated as frequently, especially when Polaris's Northern Light skill is active. Polaris adeptly counters Kai's Fetters of the Wind skill, which summons a powerful whirlwind to hurl targets into the air, dealing significant damage. However, Polaris strategically reduces the chance of this effect being triggered, particularly against targets with a level surpassing 130. By diminishing the likelihood of Kai's whirlwind effect, Polaris disrupts Kai's ability to incapacitate foes, ensuring a more favorable outcome for her allies in battle. Polaris effectively counters Jorgen's leper skill, which curses all enemies on the opposing team, designating the furthest enemy as the primary target of the curse. This curse redirects physical damage endured by enemy heroes to the cursed target for a duration of 10 seconds. However, Polaris strategically mitigates the effectiveness of this skill by redirecting only a portion of the physical damage to higher level enemies, especially those above level 130. By doing so, Polaris minimizes the impact of Jorgen's curse, thereby preserving the offensive capabilities of her allies during combat. Polaris expertly counters Andvari's Living Earth skill, a passive ability that shields himself and the nearest ally from displacement and knock-up effects, giving precedence to the ally position directly in front of him. However, Polaris strategically reduces the likelihood of this skill's effectiveness by diminishing the chance for Anvari to block displacement or knock-up effects, particularly against targets above level 130. This tactical maneuver ensures that Polaris maintains control over the battlefield, neutralizing Anvari's defensive capabilities and allowing her allies to maneuver freely without hindrance. In conclusion, Polaris emerges as a master strategist on the battlefield, skillfully countering the abilities of her adversaries with precision and foresight. With her Northern Lights skill illuminating the path to victory, she embodies resilience and tactical brilliance. As heroes of Dominion, let us learn from Polaris's example, adapt our strategies, and conquer every challenge that comes our way. Together, we can forge a legacy of triumph, and greatness in hero wars.